Hello there, this is ALW Exploration. Today we're in South Ferriby. That over there is a quarry, a chalk quarry. And this is one of the longest conveyor belts in the United Kingdom. It transports the quarry chalk from that which is Middle Lane Quarry all the way down here, down this continual conveyor belt, all the way to the cement works down there. This is Chemex South Ferriby, once a busy and productive cement plant. It has now been mothballed indefinitely due to an analysis of the firm's European cement supply chain and Chemex stated coronavirus has not influenced the decision. The Humber Estuary village of South Ferriby has been making cement for over 70 years. Over that period, the plant has provided much needed rural employment for several generations of mainly local people and supplied its essential building material not just locally but over a wide area of the UK. The plant made its cement using local chalk and clay taken from different areas of the same quarry. Daily, 3,000 tonnes of chalk and 1,000 tonnes of clay were needed. Two large kilns heated the raw materials to 1,400 degrees Celsius, a temperature at which steel would melt. The gases and dust from the kiln were subject to an intense filtering and scrubbing process before they were emitted to the atmosphere from the large main chimney. Whilst burning traditional fossil fuels, coal and pet coke, this cement plant was in recent years increasingly using more sustainable and cost-effective alternate fuels including secondary liquid fuel made from industrial wastes that could not be recycled since 2002. The plant delivered its vital end product by road over a wide area of eastern, central and northern England. It also shipped cement from Grimsby to Leith on the east coast of Scotland. The cement plant employed 150 people and it was very much part of the wider community. In total, the company's annual contribution to the local economy through wages, rates and buying of services added up to some £10 million. The South Ferriby plant began life as a wet process plant operated by Eastwood Cement Company Limited in 1938. The original line was replaced by two semi-dry Polysus Leapol kilns. The first, kiln 2, coming in 1967 and the second, kiln 3, in 1973. Both have a capacity of a thousand tonnes a day, making it capable of turnaround of 700,000 tonnes of cement each year. In the year 2000, the rugby group was acquired by RMC, which in turn was bought by Chemex in 2005. Chemex is a Mexican multinational building materials company headquartered in San Pedro, Mexico. It manufactures and distributes cement, ready-mix concrete and aggregates in more than 50 countries. Back at the South Ferriby cement plant, as mentioned in the introduction, chalk and clay were delivered from the Middlegate Lane Quarry to the plant via the Meco conveyor belt. This overland conveyor belt is 1.8 kilometres in length and runs from the quarry to the plant, passing the local South Ferriby Primary School, residential housing, that runs over the South Ferriby Marina adjacent to the cement plant. This conveyor was subject to daily inspections when it was in operation to ensure high levels of maintenance condition were sustained. Mechanical noises from the conveyor were sometimes a problem due to the proximity of uninvolved people and family homes. The chalk and clay were transported from the conveyor into holding domes which each have capacities of 12,000 tonnes. 
It then headed to two. Double rotator closed circuit raw meal ball mills where iron oxide and sand were added. The raw meal was then processed in a blending silo array in which each mill has two silos. This cement plant had the ability to homogenise the raw material before the kilns by drawing material from each silo as required. Mainly producing Chem 1, which is 100% cement, South Ferriby had the ability to produce Chem 2, which was 65% cement and 35% other materials. The plant distributed to Scotland and the north of England in terms of transport type, everything left the plant by a truck. Cement for Leith in Scotland was loaded onto barges at Grimsby, approximately 40 kilometres to the east. Around 25% of the plant's cement was sent there. There is currently no plan or intention to reactivate or close the South Ferriby cement plant or quarry. It is still owned by Chemex. It's a nationally protected site due to terrorism and things like that, so it has got a police response to it. We're going to go to the main gate to get some shots from there, but we might have to leave, you know, if the security come out and they're being a bit funny. Uh, apparently they are a bit funny here. So this is an overview shot of the cement works. Paul's doing his standardised scuffing his feet on the floor to knacker the audio up. This is where the Mecco conveyor raises over the river Ancolm, giving marine craft right of access to the river. Don't have a long walk, will you? It'll be a short one. <laughs> a short walk and a long, a long walk and a short one. There's a good poster for you here. This area has been monitored for for criminal activity and antisocial behaviour. So, Paul, you behave, you. You're being monitored. Person of interest. Yeah. They're still working there, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, there's still, there's, there's still people work there. We're now going to head over to the main gate area to show you the front of the factory. Is that the Ark? Like Noah's Ark? Just do the public right away first, then do them sands. We're discussing what to film next, as security don't seem to like people with cameras, even though we're on a public highway. Probably. This is a bit of a scope out as well, isn't it? Are we doing this should, we, should we get them? Should we just go for it and get them? Yeah. Because we're not really out down there, we haven't already seen, is there? Well, these could be closer. Yeah, I suppose. If we're closer, if we're closer. Shit, the truck box. Security response here. Already, they're already watching us. Yeah. This is a view of the factory end of the Mecco belt conveyor, and the silos used as part of the cement process. With security now watching us, we left the area. I returned a different day with exploring Dave to take a walk into South Ferriby to see the Mecco conveyor and what impact it has had on the community. There's a walkway up on the side here. For maintenance purposes, it's been taken off this belt. Oh, is the belt gone? Yeah, it's gone. Wow. Yeah, it's the first time I've actually seen inside it. The belt's gone. Thank you. 
Yeah, you are, yeah. Is that some power cables there? Were they an intermediate motor or something? It could be, yeah. Yeah, just uh, just there. Mm. Yeah. There's all bits falling off it. Yeah, there is. The material state of the Mecco belt conveyor is degrading. We are now going back to the factory and will walk close to it via a public footpath. Oh. Big pump in there, isn't there? Yeah. With a secker dog. You must have kennels. Unless it's a civvy dog outside. Oh no, look, um. It knows it's food time, doesn't it, the dog? Yeah, that's what it's after. Yeah. It's after its dinner. So the sacker in that hut as well. The security here is really, it's like military. Yeah. But one day the security will just go to a separate church, Fenton, for years. I don't know, I just spotted that. Don't it's all like jetty way or something? I think it's just a little out still here. Oh, right. Just, yeah, it's just a little sluice. Just climb up it and get on site. Well, they would in a war movie. Yeah, it's only that big. Yeah, look at all this. But all this it's is new. But all that's been put in after the floods. Does it shore it all up? In December 2013, the River Humber flooded over into South Ferriby and the Chemex cement factory. This is part of the rebuild and flood defence installed afterwards. Pilings. Yeah. I'm gonna do that in my back garden, make like a Colin Fairs type bunker. Really? Yeah, what happened? Because I haven't got like the hundred grand needed. But they're being plated up inside. Yeah. They really don't want folk getting in, do they? No. It's an interesting walkway over. Really? Yeah. The end of the Mecco Belt conveyor at its highest elevation can be seen here and the transfer system for the 12,000 tonne capacity holding domes. Mecco Belt. Mecco Belt switch room. Yeah, I think they're worried about cable thieves getting in. Yeah. It's a little bit. Not still way right down. Oh, yeah. It's just full of copper. Absolutely full to the brim with copper. Doors open look, you can get it back. Straight in that silo, yeah. See what's in it. Yeah, but they have dogs loose in here, you know. Dogs loose and handlers. Yeah, straight in there. It's not really secure, is it? 
and just lift that up and we'll be in. Yeah, this has all been recently cut. Yeah, well, this is a dead aisle area, isn't it? There'll be some security cameras up monitoring outside the perimeter. Ah, yeah. So, if you have a stair aisle area like this, you can see anything coming and going. Yeah. We just climb in through that one, yeah. Be wet and muddy, but if you wanted to steal all the wire, they'll do anything straight in there. Just wriggle under it. You'd do it here. Yeah. This is where I'd get in. God, it's massive. So I've droned all this. Yeah? Yeah, I've had the drone over the chimney. Mm. See, some of it looks new and some of it looks really dilapidated. Mm. Yeah, some are. There are a lot of cars here still. There's about 10 cars usually in the car park. Well, we're just maintenance, making sure everything's ticking over Unky Dory and no, and no, and this. Yeah. See, it almost looks abandoned. Yeah. Yep. I wonder where the security cameras are then, because I'm pretty sure there will be some. And that is the conveyor belt. And it goes all the way up there, Dave. You, you yeah. see there. You see that thing is at any... And that would, yeah. Load it on. Well, yeah, that's... That's the other quarry, yeah. But I don't even think that's the end it goes on yeah. from... So it goes right to the other end of the quarry. See, we could cross that, but then we'll be on the wrong side of the... and we'd end up in that middle bit where you can't get out. Can't get out. Yeah. That's South Furby Cement Works. I'm Andy from ALW Exploration. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out when you do that. 
and I'll see you every Tuesday and Thursday at 8pm with new content. Thank you so much for watching.